Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another great video. Today we're going to talk about uh, the four things a beginner piano player should practice. Uh, learning the piano, it's, it's a very, very uh, difficult. I mean, if you don't know exactly, uh, let's say the basics, it's, it's just like learning a new language. So if you don't know your ABCs, then it will be hard for you to, let's say, uh, form words or to speak or to make a phrase. So it's it's the same thing for the piano. So there are certain things uh, from the basics that you should know if you're just starting to learn the piano. And today we're going to cover these four things. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to start with the first thing that you should know. So the first thing you should know like uh, on the piano is just know the name of the keys. There are only 12 keys on the piano. So let's say if we look at it this way here, we're going to look at just this little section. So you see there are 12 keys from C to C. So we have So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, back to C. So these 12 keys, you should know the name of all of them. Because as a piano player, all, let's say if you're playing with a, a band or if you start playing uh, eventually with uh, some other musicians, and when they're gonna say the name of the keys, it's always a good thing to know. So if they say that oh, we're gonna be playing in the key of F, or today we're gonna be playing the song in the key of A flat, or let's say uh, E flat, so it's important to know what, how to find the keys. So where they are. So here you see C, D, E, F, G, A, B, back to C. Then we have D flat, E flat, F sharp, A flat, B flat. So in total 12 keys. So just try to memorize them and Try to learn them. That's the first thing you should do. And as you can see, the 12, those 12 keys, they just repeat over and over and over on the piano. So only 12 keys to learn. So this is the first thing you should learn. Memorize the name of all the 12 keys. The second thing we're going to cover today is finger exercise. Because you need to exercise your finger. It's just like going to the gym. Before you start lifting weight, you need to warm up. So before you start very lifting heavy weight, it's the same thing for the piano. Before you start playing, you have to warm up, which means you have to do some exercises with your, with your fingers so you can get comfortable, so you can warm up. And there are many, many of uh, finger exercises you could do. And if you check out my channel, I have done at least two or three more videos about exercises that you, the different exercises you can do on the piano. Uh, I'll do one here. Let's say you could do. So you can start with uh, just the right hand. At first, you start very slow. Which means mid, all I'm doing here is playing C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. So, and you bring in the left hand, which is uh, you're doing the same thing C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. And as you get comfortable, you can increase the speed. So this is one of the exercises that me I do, like just to warm up. And like I said, there are many, many different uh, exercises you could do to warm up before you start playing. So this is very, very important. Before you start playing the piano, do your warm up first. 
and this is gonna help you to relax and so you can play better. The third thing we're gonna cover is know all your major chords because if you want to really play songs or if you know want to know how to do chord progressions the first thing you need to know is all the major chords and as we said before there are 12 keys on the piano so there will be 12 major chords so if you don't know what major chords are you could uh, again i'm gonna leave uh, the link um, uh, below at the, in this video that uh, I had a video already that covers all the major chords and here you can see C major D major E major F major G major A major B major then we have C sharp or D flat major, E flat major, F sharp major, A flat major, then B flat major. So these are the 12 major chords that you should know. And why? Because any songs that you, you hear on the radio today, they use chords. It's either major chords or some other type of chords. So this is the third uh, thing you should practice and try to learn them, all 12 major chords. And the fourth thing you should practice and try to know as well is knowing all the minor chords. Yes. So all the minor chords, there are 12 of them. Again, so we just covered the major chords. Now we have to cover the minor chords. And we're gonna just start with C minor. D minor, E minor, F minor, G minor, A minor, B minor. Then we have D flat minor, E flat minor, F sharp minor, A flat minor, B flat minor. Again, we have 12 major chords and 12 minor chords. This is very, very important to know because once you become a piano player, you have to know your chords. Again, we're gonna recap uh, all the four things you need to practice and uh, you need to learn. The first is know the name of all the 12 keys. The second thing is you have to do your exercises, your finger exercise. You practice, you warm up before you start practicing the piano every day. The third thing is know all your major chords. And the last is know your all your minor chords as well. So if you do those four things, you will move really fast. Learning the piano, you will move very fast because you can just hear songs and kind of like figure out which chord is that is that a major chord or is that a minor chord and eventually you're gonna know the difference the different sounds between major and minor so this is all I wanted to cover with you guys today don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell for all the upcoming upcoming videos and also like and share and practice don't give up guys learning the piano is step by step 